Welcome back to a new episode here in Swadvi. In today's video, I'm going to show you, as you have seen in the intro already, how to make a big head. As you might have seen on the popular popular filters, I think it's on Instagram or maybe TikTok, I'm not sure. But it's a pretty easy and cool effect that you can do. So let's just start right away. I'm gonna try to make this video under two minutes. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to rotoscope the head of our subject. And I'm using this video because it's sort of um, easier to do it when the subject is not moving too much with the tracking. And for tracking, if you have not seen our rotoscoping video from I think last week maybe, uh, you can just go to that video so you can see the actual tutorial of how to do this whole thing because I don't want to do a, another rotoscoping tutorial when this is not a rotoscoping tutorial. Okay, so then we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around all our subject and then when we have that we're gonna track it. Once your tracking is done, you can make sure to fix any small details and stuff and then you just connect it to the alpha output. If that's not there, you just simply right click and then add an alpha output. Then we're gonna go back to our original video and let me just bring that same video again here. I'm gonna leave that out there. And right now I'm using the one that I already did before because it's a little bit more polished I guess. Okay, now we have these two videos and they both look the same. The only difference is that one is only masking the head. So we're gonna go and select both of them. We're gonna right click and then go to a new fusion clip. And then we're gonna go into fusion. So we have both files in there. Here in fusion, we can see both files. And what we're gonna do is the first thing, we're gonna add a transform node. And on this transform node, we are gonna click in the middle and then press tab. So we can select the pivot point and then we're gonna put the pivot point right like somewhere in the center of the head of our subject. Then we can go ahead and make it bigger. Depending on where you wanna position it, you can move the pivot point so it looks a little bit more natural. And I think that will be fine there. All right, then the next thing, the last thing that I added was a, a drop shadow just to make it a little bit, just to sell the effect a little bit better. And then we decrease the distance and then the strength make it a little bit more blurry just so it adds a little bit of depth in our effect and we have our head big already so how do we animate this what we're gonna do to because we have the mask here that's showing up we're gonna go here to where the first frame is on our mask and you can see it, it if you zoom in you'll be able to see it going out of it you see that is when you know where the first frame is that is our first frame so we're gonna go to our merge node and since the merge node we can go here to the settings and adjust the blending blending is basically gonna allow this image to show up or not if i do it down it's gonna be like that so we're gonna go and press right on the first keyframe we're gonna create a new keyframe and gonna make the blending here of the merge node at zero then we're gonna go one frame ahead and make it big then that's gonna sell the effect of it of the head to sort of like pop like plop like that effect that i put in the intro of the video and that is pretty much how you make this effect it's pretty easy you can add motion blurs if you want or you can just leave it as is and yeah so that is pretty much how you make a blob or big head effect and you can do this and add as many big heads as you want i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and comment down below any thoughts that you have also i'm thinking about making mondays sort of like a minute mondays series in which i'm going to talk about each of the different nodes and stuff let me know if you're interested in that and yeah also don't forget to check down the links in the description if you want to check our free templates and all that stuff that we have for davinci resolve and i hope to see you in the next video here in suave